Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will talk about dynamically induced EMF. So friends, if you don't know anything about the induced EMF, then please watch over this video. You can see, click here on the I button or you can go into the description and uh, you can watch this video. Because one should know what is induced EMF first and later on they will know what the dynamically induced EMF is. Okay, now let us talk about induced EMF first. Here, whenever there is a change in flux, EMF is induced. This is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. It states that whenever there is a change in flux, the EMF is induced there. Okay, and here the change of flux can be brought by different methods. And these different methods are nothing but produce two types of uh, EMF that is dynamically induced EMF and the second one is statically induced EMF. The statically induced EMF is again classified into two types. One is self-induced EMF and another one is mutually induced EMF. In this lecture, I will discuss about dynamically induced EMF only and statically induced EMF will be covered later. Here, if this is the experimental setup for induced EMF. Here you can see that this is the coil and uh, coil of wire or simply we can have wire and then this wire is actually directly connected to a galvanometer. Now if we are having a bar magnet or any magnet and if we keep moving this magnet there will be the change in magnetic flux here and due to this change the EMF is induced. This is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. In this case if the magnet is stationary no EMF will be generate, generated and if there is a movement of this magnet then, then there is deflection in the galvanometer indicates that there is flow of, air, flow of current here. Now if coil is moved there is also deflection in the galvanometer in this case this is coil and if we move this coil and keep magnet stationary in this case also the emf is induced here we can conclude that the emf is induced in the coil only is only if there is a change in magnetic flux in the coil and this is faraday's law of electromagnetic induction itself now this is itself known as dynamically induced emf what is that? When a conductor is moved with respect to magnetic field or a magnetic field, this is the first case, or a magnetic field is moved with respect to conductor, there is a change in flux and this EMF induced is known as dynamically induced EMF because what we are doing, we are either moving a magnet or we are moving a coil. As there is movement we can say that it is dynamically induced EMF and this is the definition of dynamically induced EMF. Now uh, again we will discuss here what dynamically induced EMF is there and uh, let us uh, explain it in details. Consider a con uh, conductor AB, okay this is a conductor it is moving from a position AB to a position CD. We are assuming just, okay. Now uh, the two ends of this conductor are connected to galvanometer. Now, uh, when when this conductor AB, okay, th uh, this is the position of conductor. If we move the conductor AB from position uh, from position AB to this CD, then there is a change in the magnetic uh, field, or we can say that this conductor will cut this magnetic field or a magnetic lines of forces and therefore there is EMF, uh, there is e, uh, EMF will be induced in this case when conductor AB stores uh, stops at position CD okay we are moving from this position to this position and if stops to the position CD EMF is zero which indicates that zero deflection in the galvanometer when this conductor will come into this position that is CD definitely further there 
the emf induced will be zero because further there is no movement and we already said that whenever there is a movement in the conductor or a magnet that is change in magnetic flux only then the emf is generated there so this is the first case now uh, again when the conductor is moved from position ab there is a deflection in the galvanometer indicate that the emf is produced just like that this emf is produced here now uh, if if we move this conductor from position cd to ab again there will be the deflection in the conductor and that is itself known as dynamically induced emf but the direction of this emf will be changed now previously if war, if it was positive then further if we are moving from cd to ab then there will be the direction from this negative side and the mathematical expression for this emf induced is given by e is equals to b l v sin theta now e is nothing but the magnitude of emf induced which is measured in volts b is flux density in weber per meter square then l is the length of the conductor in meter v is velocity in meter per second more velocity definitely more uh, emf will be generated there also it depends on the length of the conductor as well as magnetic field uh, density magnetic field density or flux density and last one is sin theta where theta is the angle between flux lines and conductor here you can see that this is conductor and this is flux line and we are moving this magnet here perp in perpendicular direction this angle is measured in degree here and therefore it is e b l v sin theta we are moving this conductor in perpendicular direction that is the angle between these lines and conductor is 90 degree here and uh, as it is 90 degree we can say we can write this formula as e is equals to b l v sin 90 degree and we know that sin 90 degree is equal to 1 and it is uh, definitely it will be the maximum value for this case and this emf is given by e is equals to b l v in this case it was perpendicular but not necessarily necessary that every time the conductor and magnetic lines for lines of forces will be exactly perpendicular to each other okay so uh, overall formula is e is equals to b l v sin theta so this is dynamically induced emf in next uh, slide i will uh, in next video i will discuss about statically induced emf so keep watching thank you